Welcome back to Treasuring with the Godfather. As you can see by the thumbnail, I decided to bring out the uh, good old Buffalo Nickel Collection. And this book was done with basically a lot of uh, dateless nickels that I've nickedated. And let's see what we need to fill this up. Well, we got uh, the 13 S's. Uh, D for 1914, 1915 S, 1918 S. Uh, looks like a bunch from the 20s for S's. Uh, we need a 27D. And on the last page, still looking for a lot of the San Francisco ones, as well as the three-legged 1937D. So I have one row left of... Buffalo nickels that we are going to go through. So let me grab my uh, Nicodate stuff and we'll be right back. So stay tuned. Okay, everybody, I'm back. As you can see, I got my nice Nicodate rag here. that gets stained with this uh, nice acid that eats away at the, the nickel. And I've gone through about seven rolls of dateless buffaloes with this. So what we're going to do, I'm going to open up this row of dateless buffaloes. And we're going to see if I can see a D or S mint mark on them, and we'll separate them out that way. And once I have them all separate, I am not going to nicodate any of the Philadelphia ones because I don't need any of those. But I'll take a look at all the Denvers and all the San Francisco's. So let me sort these out and I'll bring you right back before our first nick -a date. Welcome back everyone. As you can see, I got them sorted out to, right now I got seven different stacks. This large stack here, these are all Philadelphia because they don't have any mint mark and I'm not going to take a look at them again. Actually that one goes over there. And I'm not going to even do nick -a date on these because they are actually worth more without the nick -a date. These are the ones that have the Philadelphia, no mint mark, but they've been nicodated, so I don't need those. I'll just set those aside. These here are partial date ones. And let's see here, this one here. You can see the 1918 there. And this one here. The 1927, right there's 27. This is an easy one to see, that's the 1920. That one right there is a 29. And this last one here, it's another 29. So those won't get any nicodating because those, those are all partials. Now this stack of four here, even the one that's got the hole in it, I'm not going to nicodate at all. Because as you can tell, these all have the raised mounds. Which means this is a 1913 Type 1. So it's got the raised mound. I'm not even going to nicodate it because I know what it is. Even though it's not nicodated there, I'm going to keep them just as is. And this poor buffalo. So these are just going to be set aside as 1913s. Have one lowly estimate mark. You can see right down there between the E and the C. I got three of the Denvers. So those will get those will get negated. And I have looks like about nine here that I'm going to try and see if I can see any mint mark on them. So we'll put those up over there. And we'll take these, lay them out. There we 
we go. Yeah, it doesn't take much of this stuff. Just going to put it right between the C and the E. Oh, that's a little bit much. There we go. Close that up. Take out my little toothpick. I'm just going to do the whole five cent area so we have a nice, good, clean read on it. go and I'll let these sit for about 30 seconds and we'll take a look at them after I clean them up so stay tuned everybody well welcome back everyone don't know if you can tell but I had a little bit of a water spill here but hey sometimes it happens out of all those nine I only found two that had a Denver mint mark you actually have to put it underneath a loop to take a look at it. So we got five that we're going to do from Denver and one from San Francisco. So let me get these all set up here. There we go. And we take our good old Nick date. over the area where the year is supposed to be. And just let it work its magic. And I like to make sure it's covering pretty much the whole year area. And I use a toothpick because it's not as abrasive as if you were to use like a s small screwdriver and you could just dip it and reuse it. So let me let this sit for about 30 seconds to a minute and we'll bring you in with the results. So stay tuned. Well everyone, let's have a wrap up here. This one here, you can barely see it, but it's a 1916. And we have another 1916. And a third 1916. That's the best view out of all of them. This one here, it's a 1917. And our last one from Denver was a 1924. And our San Francisco, 1919. And I went through all of these partial date ones. I got no book fillers this week, but hey, half the fun is playing with the acid and seeing what's hidden under all these years of wear and tear on these buffaloes. So until our next video, make sure you put a comment down below whether you like or not. And until our next hunt, everyone... Keep hunting and stay safe. Bye.